Okay, our first stop in China was Hongshan or Yellow Mountain. Now then, if you're thinking of going to Yellow Mountain and you don't like steps, then you might want to think twice because there's supposedly up to 60,000 of them in the area. So there's a lot of up and down stair climbing. <laughs> Now, the way you get to Hongshan is uh, there's actually a bus that will take you to the base of the mountain and then you take a cable car up. There's several that go up there and there's several hotels up there. There isn't any uh, cars or anything like that up on top of the mountain. So if you need help with your gear, you can always get a porter to carry it for you. But we opted to carry our own because, well, I'm just cheap that way. Hello, hello, everybody. Hope you're all doing really well. Uh, sorry about the background noise here. There seems to be some construction going on. Uh, in China, uh, after a long and arduous trip, we finally made it to our destination, and that's Yellow Mountain or Mount Huangshan. Can't, sorry, can't pronounce it. <laughs> uh, the area is known for its pinnacles, very dramatic pinnacles and uh, these beautiful uh, pines and I think they're called black dragon pines or perhaps that's one of the species that grows here but the scenery is absolutely spectacular I'm just blown away by the uh, the drama of the peaks here now right now the clouds have kind of moved in so can't really see an awful lot right now every now and then the peaks will will uh, reveal themselves and it's just absolutely just just blows my mind. Uh, we did have quite a bit of snow last night and uh, it seems to be like it was uh, more of a, an ice rain or a sleet. So it's stuck to the trees a little bit, but it's melting quite fast. It's, it's warmed up considerably. So uh, I'm here with my partner, Karen, and uh, we're just gonna wander around and see what we can find. Uh, I'm, I, there's just so much to photograph. I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. So the trick is to try and zero in on one aspect or one kind of area of photography and then just stick with it because if you if you get distracted by all the other things that are happening around you then uh, it makes it extremely difficult to come away with you know half decent shots so we're just going to walk around and kind of get our feel for the for the area we're here for uh three nights so uh, and we're staying on top of the mountain here in a hotel so uh, perfect. All right. All right, now Karen and I have been wandering around and it's just absolutely spectacular. It's really hard to kind of figure out what you want to photograph because it's just, you know, it's just so overwhelming. Uh, What's really cool are these pines, there's umbrella pines and then the, the black dragon pines. And uh, so I, I've decided just to isolate these, uh, these pines here while it's quite foggy out. Every now and then you'll, you'll see the, the pinnacles out of the fog. Uh, but I've got a composition here that I quite like. And I'll just uh, move around here. There's uh, a few things in the way here. But I, I love the shapes of these trees. So I've got the, the dark trunks kind of silhouetted and then hopefully you'll, you'll be able to see the the frosted um, uh, needles of the trees we're kind of on the uh, I think we're on the the north side so there's uh, seems to be more uh, there seems to be more frost and snow on this side but uh, I think you can kind of see this it you have these silhouettes of these trees and they're kind of sweeping down the hillside here they almost look like they've been pruned but i don't think they have it's just from the wind and the, and the weather over many many years you know but uh, i'll take a few images and i'll show you what i have i've also taken some of the pinnacles down the hill here the mists kept coming in and out so i was kind of you know every time i could see the one of the pinnacles i'd take a, a shot really quickly like right now the the sun is trying to come out but uh yeah, it's just a spectacular area. I could spend a long time here.
It's funny, the scenery in this location was really stunning, but I was actually drawn more to the, the pine trees. I just loved the shapes and, of course, with the ice kind of rimming all the needles, I just found them just beautiful. The light worked quite well in my favor with the fog. There were a few times uh, th throughout our stay where the fog did clear and I actually preferred the scenes with the fog. It just kind of added a lot more separation from the foreground trees and the background, much like at home here. Now, as far as processing goes, most of the images that I've taken on this trip, I don't know, I, I, I'm processing them a little bit different. I'm really opening up the shadows and uh, kind of subduing the light. I really love that soft light look. So most of the images that I've taken on this trip uh, with the sand dunes and the mountains, I've really tried to keep them quite light and open. And I haven't done an awful lot in processing. Most of the work is done in Lightroom, just a matter of opening up the shadows and really brightening up the highlights to the maximum without blowing them out. Now, I got up at uh, first light this morning, uh, but I didn't take any video because I, I was rushing around trying to get some shots. It was just a, a magnificent morning. Uh, I was hoping to get a, a really good sunrise, but of course, I didn't get up early enough. There's a, an awful lot of <laughs> photographers in this area. Uh, so getting a, a good spot, you have to get up even earlier, and I'm just not prepared to do that. But what I have been doing is photographing the, uh, like it's midday right now, so I've been photographing the fog kind of going in and out. And now and then you can see the, the peaks beyond here. So it, it's really quite something. And uh, we still have quite a bit of frost on the, uh, on the trees here. And that's what I really like. I actually like the frost more than the, uh, the sunrise, to be honest with you. So Karen and I are going to be hiking up towards uh, uh, an area up here. There's a big balanced rock and there's a, an overlook up there. So we're going to see what we can find up there. I think we're going to be coming back next year uh, because we're only here for well, three days total. And that's not really enough, like it's kind of just enough to give you a taste of the area. But, you know, it takes you a day or two to, to really kind of get your bearings and then you, you kind of know where to go for photography. In terms of weather, probably the best day was our third. Started off really nice, had a nice uh, sunrise, and then as the day progressed, it got cloudier and cloudier. And as we went up higher up into the mountains, uh, it started to get socked in. But Karen and I discovered a really great lookout. And it was funny because that's where we met the rest of our group that uh, we were going into the Gobi Desert with.
So I did manage to take a whole bunch of images just before the clouds started to move in and the snow started to fall. And I was really happy with these shots. They really have a lot of mood and drama to them. Granted, the light wasn't terribly dramatic, but I really loved that combination of the peaks just poking out of the clouds. And as the snow started to fall, it really added a lot of drama to the scenes. So I was quite happy with these photographs. Now in terms of processing these, again, I really uh, brought up the highlights to the point where they're just about blown out. And I also lightened up the shadows considerably because I really wanted that light ethereal feel to these images. And I think I've done a, a reasonably good job at that. So is Huang Shan worth the visit? Uh, you bet it is. Uh, for a first visit, I was really happy with the images that I got. Uh, the weather could always be a little bit better, but uh, you know you have to kind of take what you're given. An actual fact: uh, after we went to the Gobi Desert, we changed our travel plans and ended up going back to Yellow Mountain for another three or four days because we just loved it so much the first time. But I'll leave that for another video. All right, everybody, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was more of a, a travel log type of uh, format rather than a how-to and, and tips video, but I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you enjoy the content of my channel, be sure to subscribe. All right, everybody, have a great week, and until next week, bye for now.